In the previous video, we have studied about the basics of the differential equation. In this video, we will try to understand one of the type of the differential equation. But the first point is how many types of differential equation we have. So basically, we have the four types of differential equation. As you can see, variable separable differential equation, homogeneous differential equation, exact differential equation, linear differential equation. So these are the four types we have to study. Now let's start with the variable separable form. So let us understand variable separable differential equation by an example. Let's say our example is dy by dx is equal to e raised to x into e raised to y. So you have to find the solution of this differential equation and you can do it by variable separable. So what is variable separable and how we can use that? So the first point as the name suggests you have to separate the variable, variable separable. So first step is you have to separate the variable. How can you do it? You can see we have two variables y and x correct we have the two variables so i will take one variable that is let's say i will take this y in the left hand side so in the left hand side all the terms would be of y i will take this x in the right hand side so what i am getting is the step one dy by e raised to y is equal to e raised to x into dx so this left hand side consists of only and only y term this right hand side consists of only x term simple now the next task you have to do is you have to integrate on the both side if you integrate on both side what you will get you will get integral dy by e raised to y is equal to integral e raised to x into dx now it is simple if you know the integration okay so if you haven't watched my integral videos like indefinite integral definite integral multiple integral i have made videos on that so first watch that and then you come on this differential equation it would be easy for you okay so first we have to do the integration what you can do is e raised to y can be written as 1 by e raised to y can be written as e raised to minus y integral of e raised to minus y is e raised to minus y upon minus 1 always remember in the integral the coefficients the coefficients are always divided in the differentiation this coefficients are multiplied but in the integration the coefficients are divided very important point then e raised to x integral is e raised to x because it is indefinite integral you will have this plus c so rearrange this you will get e raised to minus y plus e raised to x plus c is equal to zero so it was simple to solve this differential equation if you know the three steps first separate the variables second integrate on the both side and make sure you are adding the c plus c when you are writing the final solution so let's move on to the example number two so now the example number two is simple dy by dx plus y square is equal to zero this is our differential equation we have to find the solution of it we can use the variable separable as we have already studied it so first step is separate the variables now your question might be how can I separate the variables? You said your left hand side should contain all the y terms and right hand side should contain all the x term or vice versa, correct? But you have to separate the variables. Here you cannot directly separate the variables but what you can do is take this variable in the right hand side. Now you have dy by dx is equal to minus y square. Now you can separate the variables, correct? My left hand side is all the variable in terms of y. Right hand side is all the variable in terms of x. Now integrate on both the side. You will get integral dy by minus y square is equal to integral dx. Now you should know the integration. Integration of y raised to n is equal to y raised to n plus 1 sorry it is y raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 because i have always said that coefficient will always be divided in the integration using that formula you will get this step 3 and integral dx is x no doubt on that okay so because we are dealing with the indefinite integrals we have to add plus c rearrange this equation you will get y raised to minus 1 is equal to x plus c so if you do it correctly this is 1 by y y is equal to 1 by x plus c a pretty simple question if you know your steps correctly now we will see some interesting question on variable separable so this is example number 3 dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x plus y plus xy now your question might be your first step was to separate the variables now it is impossible to separate these variables your answer is wrong okay so what you have to do is you have to think how can I separate this variable if it is possible okay uh, it is not necessary always these variables would be separated that's why we have some various types as well the, the, that is the exact differential equation homogeneous differential equation or linear differential equation correct but here the variable can be separated what you can do is take the y outside so in this uh, bracket if you take the y outside so you will get 1 plus x now you have to note that 1 plus x 
plus y into 1 plus x. Now we can take 1 plus x common. So if you take 1 plus x common, you will get 1 plus y. So the steps are like this. You have 1 plus x plus y plus x plus x y, correct? So you are taking 1 plus x, your first bracket, then you are taking y common, so 1 plus x. Now these two are same, you are taking this as common, uh, you will get 1 plus y, because here 1 is present, so 1 plus y. Simple, so now you can separate the variables. So this is variable in terms of x, this variable is in terms of y. So let's do the separation, so dy by 1 plus y is equal to dx into 1 plus x. Integrate on the both the sides, so it is simple, so integral dy by 1 plus y is equal to integral 1 plus x dx. Now 1 by, uh, now you have to understand this, 1 by something is equal to log of something. So you can see this uh, term is 1 plus y, so your answer would be log of 1 plus y. And this is normal uh, integration, like integration of dx is x, integration of x is x x square by 2 because it is indefinite integral you are adding plus c so this question was interesting so take a special care if your question is not simple you have to make it simple so always you have to do some extra step to make sure you can separate the variables and if it is possible you can do it sometimes it may not be possible then i will show you some different techniques so example number 4 is interesting, e raised to y plus 1 cos x dx plus e raised to y sin x dy is equal to 0. You have to solve this differential equation using the variable separable. You can do it I know but you have to do some extra step because your first step was separate the variable, second step is do the integration and third step get the answer and make sure you are adding the constant. So these are the three steps you can solve any question of differential equation by the variable separable. So what can I do here? First. I need the separate the variable step so I cannot get it directly because as you can see this is the first term this is the second term what can I do I can take the second term in the right hand side so now I have e raised to y plus 1 cos x dx is equal to minus e raised to y sin x dy now this is simple if you look carefully what can I do is I can take this sin x in the left hand side so it would be cos x by sin x so it is cot x what can I do? I can take this e raised to y in the right hand side. Okay, So it would be minus e raised to y upon e raised to y plus 1. So now I have left hand side as my x terms, right hand side as my y terms, integrate on both the side. Simple. So integral of cot x dx is log sin x. Integral of this is minus, okay, so it was minus here, so minus is outside. So minus log of e raised to y plus 1 plus log c. Now this is purposeful why I have took this plus log c you will see in the second slide but make sure you know the integrals. Integral of cot x is integral of cos x by sin x. If you put sin x as t you will get cos x as dt. So basically it is dt upon uh, sin x as t. So log t correct and log t means log sin x. So it was a quick overview how you can solve this by using the substitution technique. And uh, similarly we are doing here uh, just you have to substitute e raised to y plus 1 as t you will get e raised to y dy is equal to dt and same thing okay now let's move forward to this concept why i took log c instead of c so our equation from the previous slide was log sin x is equal to minus log of e raised to y plus 1 plus log c and my question was why this log c because you want to make sure the solution you are getting is a standard solution Okay, and if you are taking C here, it won't be a standard solution. Okay, because every term is in log. So you are taking this term also a log term. So I'm putting log C, I'm just rearranging, taking this term in the left hand side. So log sin x plus log of e raised to y plus 1. This is my left hand side. Now, uh, log a plus log b, tell me the answer, log of a into b. So log of a into b is equal to log C. So what you can say a b is equal to c so sin x into e raised to y plus 1 is equal to c is your standard solution so i hope you got this video and if you found this interesting make sure you like and subscribe so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is training gen peace out